Hi there and welcome back to the horde of the black sheep Kara Koyunlu and we're, we're a growing power even if it doesn't look like it if you compare us to the Ottomans or the Mamluks but now we have gotten a, we've gotten a chance against Ak Koyunlu they're only newly allied with Nogai and Nogai has been reduced to nearly nothing and our our ruler is Zealot and he wants to get first land from a rival and second land from a heretic ruler, the Sunni faith. So we're going to declare war on him. He won't humiliate a rival because humiliating is um, not something a just ruler would do. But he wants to take the claims we have on our Koyunlu and take them over. And we'll call Sherwin with us because we've helped Sherwin against the Great Horde. And uh, yeah, we just want to want to have it in our back. And maybe we should take cars because we want to attack cars first. And when we have cars, that is a fort, then everything else will be easy to get. So let's confirm. We'll move us towards legalism too, but uh, yeah, let's go. The country is at war, of course, and uh, we'll raise war taxes because we can do that at zero cost now in the age of discovery, which we have taken over here. We will need uh, a lot in this garrison. Let's see how much we need. We'll move into cars now. We have split up these armies. Pirdbulag Yusuf will go to Hazen Kaifa and Iskander the Black Ram will go to Mardin. We failed that quest. It's recovering economy is not possible anymore. What do we need to do then? Conquer Malamir. Where's Malamir? Not part of this war. Oh, it's in Ejan. We could do that. Rival of our rival. Is the Great Horde. The Great Horde should be our friend. I'm sorry. The Great Horde is our rival. What kind of mission is that? Create a proper fleet. At least 75% of the force limit. Um, we could do that. We could also conquer Malamir, but when, once we have conquered here, that is enough for now. And that's also what our ruler thinks. Building some ships would be a reasonable choice. So we're building some ships. Thriving shipbuilding sector. There we go. Create a pro proper fleet is what we will do. We'll support um, to support us. And on here, the pilgrims are safe. Efforts to protect those of his subjects to perform the pilgrimage to the holy cities of Mecca and Medina have paid off. It's now long since there was last a raid and the realm is at peace. What do we need in cars? Be very important to know six regiments. Let's detach a siege and move the army of Hazan Ali Hazan around. Maybe. Maybe here. We move this way too to Sylvia. I only have cavalry. It's a little bit risky, but probably like to wait here. We have conquered two provinces already. Let's go to Mush 
and Iskanda will go to... Can we catch them? No. Not anymore. With religious devotion. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at that. The fires of faith are strong in our Sultanate. Oh, finally, everyday people are flocking to join or in some way support our missionaries as they seek to encourage a Shi'i way of life throughout our lands. Those we seek to convert cannot help be impressed by the zeal possessed by our subjects. Spread the word. Ah. So good. It feels so good. We can invest in military technology though. And of course we'll do that. There's cavalry shock, infantry fire. We'll unlock the regimental camp. There we go. Pike and shot. The arquebus was easy to use as a weapon, but was also inaccurate and slow to fire, leaving its user vulnerable to cavalry charges. Blending with pikemen allowed arquebusiers to fire and then fall back to be shielded by pikemen. Enemy cavalry or infantry appeared. And what do we have here? Hmm. The mountains. Hard to attack, but they only have infantry. We can move in with Pir Badagi Yusuf or this kind of the Belag Ram. I think he has the perfect combination of that. So, ah, but he cannot move there. The fortress stops us there. All right. That is not good for us. Fortress stops us. We'll be besieging. Mush has come under our occupation now. And I think we cannot move forward here. No, we have to go to Ezrurum. They're at 6k now. They're recovering rapidly. What's going on here? Oh, Sherman has, has come to us. They are moving to Ezrurum. Basra is now considered also part of our patrimony. Very good. They are moving to Bayazid. Good, 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 good. Now they're moving back to Ezrurum. Well then, ah, we can catch them with the army. Pirbuda Yusuf. We'll do that, of course. Kakiti has been converted to... And... Let's go and convert Imerati. There we go. And here, okay. Pirbudak Yusuf. He has even better shock. Let's have a look. How is that going? Ugh. Terrain is really bad. There are so many more men. Does that count for anything? Come on. Ah, the fire screws us over. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Oh my god. They're moving in. Ah, what a good shock. Good shock. Very nice. Very nice. Elven Mehmet Osman has lost against Pirbudak Yusuf. A shock specialist. And we will move there, which is... Good. We, we will tolerate that. We will move there. It's it's good. It's okay. Not the best we could do, but we can certainly use that. Also, let's have a look at uh, Ajam. Our air demands counter espionage again on Ajam because he doesn't trust anyone. And he's secretive. 
We have eliminated some troops in uh, the Battle of Ezrurum. Now taking that place over. This will be the end of uh, Ak Koyunlu as a reasonable force, right? We've waited long for that and now we only need, need them anymore as a buffer zone to the Ottomans. So we could move this way or this way to Erzin Khan. My god, what? We can only move there to Trebson. All right, then we'll move to Trebson. They're moving around like mad. Oh, that's the army they are collecting again. Look at that, minus 64. What? No guy. Quom is under the control of no guy. There is no guy. I thought there was no guy, but then there was no guy. All right. Uh, let's leave the sieges here. Oh, we cannot. All right. All right. This is not important anymore. Pure Buddha Yusuf needs to move back and hunt the no guy people. Where are they even going? Quom. <laughs> you really need to build a fortress there, right? And they're moving to Mush. We need to split some part of the army here need to keep them here and we need to select this army and then attack where they go they will go to mush what is going on here all right we've eliminated these guys and they are going here to that army Suicidal. Yeah, they shall go there and fail. Move back here. Won the Siege of Kars. Now we've got everything we wanted. We're hunting the Nogai people with Pirbadag Yusuf. Let's go to Quam and be happy there. How is that? What? We have no leader there. Need to help then, maybe. Now, religious fervor. The tribes of Mianne have been enamored by the charismatic preachers of the Shaikdom of Ardabil. In many parts of our federation, this area was always religi religiously heterogeneous, but this turn of events worried the council of our Sultan. Um. Hmm. We'd get religious fervor and divided loyalties for ten years in Mianne. Or we cannot allow the Safavid dynasty. No, we'll celebrate our allies and get that for 10 years. Well, it's okay. Charismatic preachers. The Battle of Cars was won. And I'm not sure if we're that good at the moment, but we have won this. And we'll continue this way to take over. Quam is truly, truly a bad place. It's so devastated. But we're taking it back. There we go. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see for more glorious victories in the next episodes for our great 
ruler, the Black Ram, Sulkan Iskander. Have a good time until then and happy gaming.